Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is a super exciting one. I will be trying out makeup products from Zara's makeup collection. Zara the clothing brand has come out with a makeup collection and I wanted to dive in and try a couple of their products. I am currently wearing a few of the products that I purchased from Zara's makeup collection. So if you'd like to know the prices, how I purchased them and my first impressions, please keep on watching. <laughs> shopping on Zara's website to try to buy clothes for a cottage that I'm going to in about a week and I noticed that they had a beauty section. I knew that they had a makeup collection before but I've never had the chance to try them out so since I was already shopping online I decided to pick up a few of their beauty items. The specific products that I'm going to show you today, there are three of them, are made in Italy and on their website it says that these products uh, do not contain any ingredients derived from animals and they are not tested on animals, which we love. I, of course, ripped open the unicardons as soon as I received the package. I was just way too excited to see what the products look like, but I want to talk a little bit about the information you will see on the unicardons. So at the front of the unicardon, you will see Zara written right on the packaging, comes in a shiny finish, and on the front, you can also see the name of the product itself. On the top of all three products, you can see the shade names, which shows you exactly what the product's going to look like inside. On the back of each unicardon, you can see where it was made, you can see the price, and also the product itself. So these are all three of the products outside of the unicardon. You will notice that all of them are in white packaging. The packaging itself is very luxe. It's actually very heavy and really great material. You will also notice that there is no writing on this package whatsoever. None of them have any type of writing on it, except Zara that is in white at the very bottom of the package. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is it. That is the only writing it has, which might be a problem for some of you if you end up throwing the unicardon out. You will not know what shade you purchase or what product this is unless you actually opened it up itself. A solution for that would be to just either keep the unicardons so that you know what the product is and the shade names or just add a label yourself. So this is the first product here. It is the Cheap Color in 3 Refillable Cheek Palette in the shade Impeccable Touch. This cheek palette retails for $29.90, which is the most expensive product I purchased from the makeup collection. The next product I have here is the Eye Color in 2. This is the refillable eyeshadow duo in the shade Non Plus, I believe that's what it is, and it retails for $19.90. Last but not least, we have these two products here that come into one packaging, but they are two separate parts. And this is Stiletto Refillable Demi Matte Lipstick in the shade La Journée. This retails for $15.90 and is the cheapest product I purchased out of the three. The first product we're going to start off with is the face palette. Now, full disclaimer, I am wearing makeup on my face. They are all cream products, so we do need to set them. So this face palette does have a bronzer, blush, and highlighter, so we will be going over the cream products with this face palette. Now that I'm done with the face palette, I wanted to give you guys my first impressions. First of all, I didn't mention before, but the packaging itself, there is a mirror inside, which I love because that makes it really simple when you're traveling or if you're on the go. So that is definitely a plus for me. I wanted to also mention that this palette is nicely pigmented. You can definitely build it up if you want to, but I think really just going in with a couple of swipes over your cheeks is really, really nice. I think my favorite 
section of this face palette has to be the blush and the highlighter. I think both of them look really nice on my cheeks. I found that the bronzer was a little bit too orangey, a little bit too dark for me. So next time I will just go in with a lighter hand. So my overall rating for this face palette is a 9 out of 10. I didn't give it a full 10 out of 10 because the bronzer is a little bit too dark for me, but I do love the blush and the highlighter. I'm not really sure if it's worth the price point of $29.90. I will leave that up to you guys, but if you are looking for a face palette for on the go, with great quality, with nice pigment, I highly recommend. Eyeshadow Duo does not have a transition shade, so when I test this out, I'm going to be using a Sephora color full shadow, just a single shadow to have that transition shade when I apply these. My eye makeup is done and I knew this palette was going to be super basic of course because there's only two shades and there was no transition shade. I will say that the pigment is definitely not there. It took a long time for me to get some pigment out of the palette, especially out of the top shade. Um, I thought it was going to be super dark as soon as you apply it, nice and pigmented, but it did take me quite a while to get the pigment that I wanted, um, and it, we never really got there. I do want to say that I do like the gold at the bottom. It's not super bold, but it does give you that nice shimmer right in the center of your eyelid. But of course, when I went to go blend everything together, it kind of took away the pigment from the top shade, so that isn't a good sign. My final rating for this little duo is a 5 out of 10 and the reason why it has such a low rating is one, the price point is really high at $19.90 for just a little duo like this that barely has any product in it. Um, I don't like the mirror because you can't really see anything out of it and the pigment is definitely not there unless you have time to really sit there and try to build it up. But again, once I try to build it up and then blend everything out, it kind of took away some of that pigment. So I did have high expectations for this and it didn't meet my expectations. Last but not least, we have the Demi Matte Lipstick. It comes in two pieces, which I think is so interesting. I've never again purchased the makeup collection from Zara, so I really don't know how this is gonna work out. I assume you just place it in there and just twist and the lipstick should come out, I think. So there it is. There are no instructions that come with this lipstick, so I really did not know how I was going to place it into here, so I don't even know if I did it right. So basically what you have to do with this lipstick is you're going to pop it on there and then you're going to turn the lipstick in order to get the actual product out. And then of course you have the lid here that is going to close over the product. I first want to say how much I really enjoyed applying this Demi Matte Lipstick. I know at the beginning it was a little bit confusing to put together because I didn't watch a tutorial before filming this video, but I do want to say that I would rate this a 10 out of 10. The reason I would rate this a 10 out of 10 is because it's super compact. I love the application of this lipstick. I find that it was very smooth to apply. The color is exactly how it looks online, and I think the color is very beautiful. It's almost like a pinky brown kind of mixed together, a nice nude. I also will say that I love the fact that it doesn't dry down. That is what a Demi Matte is. It kind of has a little bit of a glow to the lips and it's very comfortable. Here's a final look of the makeup all together using the Zara Makeup Collection. That is the end of today's video. I hope you all enjoyed watching me test out Zara's makeup collection. I really enjoyed filming this video and trying new products is one of my favorite things to do. Let me know down below in the comments which of these products from Zara's makeup collection would you try and what other Zara makeup collection products would you like me to try and review on my channel. 
Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, give this video a big thumbs up, and follow me on my socials, which are linked down below in the description box. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Ciao for now.